Hi everyone. Today's topic is API resource and I'm going to share what is API resource, why you should use it and a few things that you can do with resources. So let's get started. When we are building APIs using Laravel, the response we send back is in JSON. And the records that are fetched from the database are either a collection or an allocant model. So there is a need of a transformation layer between the allocant models and the JSON responses. For example, you may want to show or hide some attributes based on the request you have received. So let's say you want to show profile details of a user when the profile relation is loaded. And you don't want to show this relation when it is not loaded. Using API resources, we can easily achieve this. In very simple words, API resource only transforms a model into an array. In order to generate a resource, we use the following command. PHP artisan make resource and the name of the resource. An API resource can either return a single record or a collection. And every resource class defines a two array method, which converts the collection into array. This method can also be used to customize the response from the resource. So this was just a basic introduction and usage of API resources. Now I'm going to share some useful tips that will be actually helpful in your development process. Number one, you can include other resources inside one resource. So let's say you have a relation that you may want to add to your API response. You can simply do that by calling that relations resource. If you want to load the resource only when the relation is loaded, then you can use a method named when loaded, which takes in the relationship name as the argument. Number two, the response of an API resource is wrapped inside a data key. If you want to use another key for this, you can simply define a wrap attribute on the resource. In case you don't want to wrap the data and remove the wrapping inside the data key, then you have to invoke a method inside a service provider. So inside our service provider, we can invoke JSON response without wrapping method. We have to invoke this method inside the boot method and this will remove the wrapping. You can invoke this method inside any service provider, but there is a condition. The service provider must be executing on every HTTP request. So number three, sending a paginated response. When you are working with paginated data, you just need to pass the Laravel Paginator instance to the resource, which you get by using the Paginate method on Alcon queries, and you have to pass it to the resource. And it will wrap all the data inside the data key with meta and link keys as well. Even if you have invoked without wrapping meta inside a service provider, it will still wrap the data inside the data key. Number four, loading attribute conditionally. When you want to load an attribute based on some condition, then you can use a when method inside a resource. This method takes into argument. You can use this method in two ways. The first argument is the condition, and the second argument can either be a closure or simply a value of this attribute. If you only want to add an attribute if it's not null, then you can use when not null method. Also, when you want to load a key value pair conditionally, you can use merge one method, which takes in two arguments as well. The first is a condition, and the second is an array of key value pairs. The last thing I want to share is customizing the response. If you want to change something inside a response, let's say you want to append X locale inside the header, then you can define a with response method inside the resource which also takes into parameters. The first one is the request and the second one is the response. So you can customize the response header if you want or the response overall. And that is it for the video. Please like the video if it was helpful and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thank you for watching this one and I will see you in the next video.